have been cropping in darkness. And if you look around us today, there are still many men and women who are still living in darkness. When we talk about darkness in this context, we are talking about darkness of the mind. Spiritual darkness that had given birth to spiritual blindness. They do not understand the things of God. They do not know why they should worship God. They are not ready to bow unto God. And the Bible said, the people walking in darkness have seen a great light because of the birth of Christ. God becoming man and God going through human processes to save man from the power of sin and death. So Christmas is about Christ. It's not a time of enjoyment. It's not a time to gratify your personal desires or your fleshly desires. It's a time to gratify the desires of heaven. We have not done that. As a nation, we have not done that. As a state, we have not done that. Even those of us who call ourselves Christians, followers of Christ, we have not really allowed the light of God to shine. God is reminding us that in this Christmas, let your focus be Christ. The worship of Christ, the glorification of Christ, the exaltation of Christ. Because if that is not your focus, if that is not my focus, then we have lost it. We have nothing again left. That's why the scripture said, You are the light of the world. You and I were the light of the world. Say, so let our light shine. Our light should shine. The light that Jesus has given to us by his spirit. If you look through the Messianic story or narrative, you discover that when Jesus was delivered, there was joy in the world because he has a solution of this world in his hands. No man can save you, brother or sister. Nobody can save you. It's the only Christ that can save us. So we need to go back to him. So if you are seated here and you have not made up your mind to surrender your life to Jesus and accept his light to shine you and through you shine the world, then you have defeated why you were made a human being. Bible said God made us in his image and likeness to be like him. And in him there is light. And the light is the light of men. So let Christ be the reason of our celebration. Let Christ 
be the reason of our existence. People of God, we are going to pray. But the Lord asks us to remind us this before we pray. Let us rise. Lift your right hand to heaven. Say, my father, my father. As I raise my hand, I raise my nation. To you this evening. Oh God, show us mercy in Nigeria. Help us, oh Lord. Begin to pray right now. God should show us mercy in Nigeria. We lift our hands unto you, Lord. We pray for mercy. We pray for your mercy. Pray for your grace. Lord, rescue us. If you don't save us, no man can save us. Father, you are our king. Begin to pray for Nigeria. Pray that God will put smile on our faces. The Lord shall rescue us. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Say, Father, Father I lift up cross in my state. Into your hands. Behold the state. The people's paradise. Father, help us. We can't help ourselves. Now begin to pray. Pray for the state. Except the Lord builds the house, they build us never in vain. Except the Lord watches over the city, they will try to keep away in vain. Father, build the state. Build the state. Save the state. Watch over the state. Do precious things here, Lord. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Church is marching on. Let us lift up the church. The church. Lift your hands as you sing this song. We say. Begin to pray right now. 
Lord, it's a season of rejoicing, a season of celebration. Lord, I pray tonight. I need my portion. I need my visitation. I need my turn around. Anything, Lord, that will not bring me soul. Lord, destroy them. Lord, destroy them. In my life, in my family, in this church, destroy them. Jesus, mighty name.